Hello and welcome back. I have been running this for a little while with uh, out any recordings so that I could gather some resources and hopefully finally get our beacon back up and running. As you can see at this point I have 38 gold blocks and I have another 38 gold bars. I have also been so I've been running the wither skeletons and the pigmen. I've been collecting more coal and just turning it into coal dust. And of course I've collected a whole bunch of gold here. I have come to the conclusion that I need to slightly redesign my mob dropper. I learned this while I was working on the um, oh, just four blocks short. So I was working on the experience farm, and I'll show you what we got with that right now. Also give us a chance to uh, try this out. I removed the, uh, the blaze spawner that we had down there. Let's see, that one is number eight. So I want to see how this works. With uh, what do you call it? Blaze in there. So originally I had planned on this being four different rooms and then each room would have a different mob spawning in it and you could collect you know four different ones if you wanted to. I realized that I needed more space around the spawners to maximize the amount of spawning and so I had to open up these rooms and then I came to the idea that we could have four different mobs um, total so we'll have like two spawners one on that side and one on this side that will say be blaze and then we'll have two zombie maybe two skeleton and maybe two creeper or withers or something else and let's see how this works actually let's go kill that guy down to well it works
but they jump around. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's an issue. Maybe they want to keep going up. So I'm not entirely sure how they're getting out. But obviously a lot of them are. Probably spawning in there. I know in one of my videos I was standing up here watching this for a while because originally having just the two separate rooms they were also spawning up here so that's not good yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that he's just or maybe he's not shooting me through the glass. Alright, so we have that's blocked, that's blocked, that's blocked, they're both blocked. So I'm not sure how they're getting out, they could maybe be forcing each other out somehow. I also had my uh, cows running for a while, so I got a bunch of steaks. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. We can finish. And we need these. should turn up there we go so that's still active we want that one and that one so really don't need any of these I can just jetpack with that one there that should help out now All right, let's try this again. So maybe like on this side, 
I'll have two blaze spawners and maybe two wither skeleton spawners. And then on this side, I'll have two skeleton spawners and maybe two zombie spawners. I know I had said that I didn't want to use zombies because they make a lot of noise. But I'm trying to think of what I can use that will benefit from um, my looting sword. Yeah, it does. It looks like they are forcing their way out of the... Uh, glass somehow which they were not doing that when I was testing this and some of these blaze are trying to kill me Maybe I need to put something here. Or maybe I just deal with it. I mean, I have this, all these good buffs now from my uh, thing, and maybe it'd be fun having my uh, workstation catch on fire and having to run around trying to save everything. So I could do that. It's not like they can really hurt me at all. Especially not with this uh, constant regen going on. Sharpness 4. Yeah, he just like walked right out of there. I didn't want to have to like bulk this up or anything to try to keep him in there. I guess I could always uh, see I really wanted to put creepers in here but I can't have creepers in here if they're just gonna come out and kill me and blow up everything I mean think about that one one creeper gets out blows up and then freeze the rest of all the creepers. So we're not 
not going to have creepers in here at all. Um, I wanted to, but we're not doing it. I'm not going to risk that at all. We'll just uh, drop the creepers to their doom. So, what I think I need to do to maximize the efficiency of this is bring in, which is going to suck because I already placed my wither skeleton spawner. But as you can see, these guys are dropping at a pretty, pretty steady rate. If I was to turn on my cow spawner, we'd get like one for every like two drops of these guys. But what I think I need to do is bring everything down by one block and just go all the way around, right, in a inner square. And then I can have another inner square so, uh, somehow. So there'll be like an inner square here, so the outside square will be empty. Then spawners, then empty, then spawners, then empty. And then I might be able to fit one more, or I might have to leave it empty. But that also brings up the question, do I really need that many spawners? So it would be like empty, spawners, empty, spawners, and then the middle would be empty. But like I said, do I really need that many spawning locations? I could probably get away with just using the uh, the inner six because it's so it's creeper, pigmen, withers, cows, and then a witch if I can find one. And then what? What do I need the rest of this for? I mean, I could always just leave it. I mean, there's just there's just not that many mobs in the game. I uh, I can't drop blaze from here. There's really no point in dropping zombies because without using my sword, I'm never never gonna get anything from them. Um, the blaze won't take any fall damage, and I can't put any water in there to kill them because then all the other mobs would live. So that becomes pointless. But, who knows. I could always add in two of each kind to increase what I get. I could put sheep in there to get wool. There's really no point in putting pigs in there. Um, I already tried. I can't put iron golems into a soul shard, so that's pointless. Which, I don't understand why you can't do the iron golems. I mean, all of these mobs that I'm making a spawner from, you could, to greater or lesser degrees, go completely out of your way and make this giant building just to, to spawn it. Just like for the iron golems, to get a golem farm, you have to make a villager spawning... You have to make a city to spawn the golems and then do something with them and 
I don't want to have to do that, but I probably will. I mean, Enderman. I need an Enderman farm, but I think I have to do that in the end. Which will be fine, but I thought I'd be able to do that out here, but I couldn't get it to work. Let's see, why don't we try one more time, and where is my Enderman? Uh, I think I destroyed it, actually. Oh yeah, I need to get slimes in there. So, we built this. We built the spawners up there. We built our room in here. And that's and we got the experience stuff going up there. And that's really just about it. I really like the way this looks, but I don't I don't know. I don't know that I want to deal with the skellies coming out all the time. So, next project that we're definitely going to work on is um, getting some pumping stations set up in the nether. I want to get at least two or three nicely spread out from each other. And I want to get the uh, what do you call it the tank I need to get the tank set up and then at some point after that we need to get our routing system finished so that we can actually have um, our quarry set up look they're fighting Hey, hey, break it up, you guys. Break it up. Oh. Well, I guess it got broken up. See, now this is weird. So, when I had the blaze farm going, they were popping out. But, when I just have them going... It's like they're not coming out at all. See, look at that. Immediately comes out. Is it because of the blazes? Is it because of the second farm that was going? See now we haven't we haven't killed any of them. We just turned off the blaze farm. See, and he comes out. There's another one. There's another one.
Well, I'm gonna go help my kid go use the party. And I'm gonna enchant some more books. I'll see you guys later.